What is up everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're big on news on Disney and theme parks and Universal and everything. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Because, oh my god, this video is literally on a spontaneous video. I was not even planning on doing it. But we got to talk about real quick about some new information that Universal is striving on. As we all know, Universal was the first entertainment theme park to open up their gates to general public such as CityWalk, but now, today, um, May 21st, the Orlando team, or Universal Orlando team, have gone to the task force to give their plans on when are they reopening everything, and anonymous, anonymously, the task force have approved Universal's plan to reopen on June 5th, but that doesn't guarantee us seeing opening. That's possibly a potential opening date for the general public. Um, and also in the information, they also said on June 3rd and June 4th, it will be exclusively for annual pass holders and other invited guests to come over to see what they're going to be expecting. And then June 5th will be open to the general public. We will not know until the mayor of Orange County, as well as Governor DeSantis, has officially given the green light to this. Governor DeSantis does want to reopen Florida, as we all know. That's why he can build up a team of the reopening task force so we all have to wait and see and with everything going on we can might as well per give a speculation as well as when we might see SeaWorld and Disney reopening as we know yesterday was the re grand opening reopening to be more precisely of Disney Springs and the time difference between City Walk and Disney Springs was roughly around, I want to say, what? Almost a week or now, by now, or something like that? So, um, we have to be expecting some big news and big information along the way. And now, who knows? Things could drastically change. We might be expecting the parks fully open by midsummer, maybe by July. So, we all have to wait and see. And that's all for today. That's just my quick update video for you guys of what's been happening today. Um, for those who do not, um, not do not are not up to date of what the parks have been happening, and yeah, they have just do also recap of what Universal said. They also said that they are trying to minimize um, payless contact, as we saw with Disney and C CityWalk as well. Um, min um, maintain their social distancing. You must have mask on when you are in the premises of Universal. They will provide you one free face mask if you forgot to bring you one when before entering CityWalk. But if you do not have it, you will not be allowed to enter the property. And they're definitely going to try to enforce this rule to everyone who comes in. And this is like big news. And I approve the... I the concept of everything what Universal has been doing eliminating um, long lines trying to do virtual queue lines eliminate wait times in in food places do cash cashless checkouts um, the only thing I'm kind of, it's hurtful for me because I do a lot of solo trips is they are gonna eliminate single riders lying from the attraction but it is what it is for the safety of the people and I'm all about the safety and taking the precaution and with that being said, that will conclude this spontaneous double upload day video, which I've rarely done it before. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, please, again, subscribe to the channel. Click right here. If you want to check out my last video of the day, click right here. If you want to check out a playlist, click right here. Thanks so much. Be safe. I'll catch you guys soon.